a specific day. This is right. when the Americans are going to leave Iraq and Condoleezza Rice and those in the Bush administration said, there's no way we can do this. Uh, we want a specific Not as like long that. as there's no vetoes. Uh, and the other thing is, they're trying to get this all lined up before that uh, big donors conference mm -hmm. next week out in. It's against Colorado law to mention the name of the victim, mentioned, let it slip about six times. Hey, in Vatican City, they are marking 25 years as Pope for John Paul II. That's right, and Greg Burke, always there in Rome. <laughs> At 6 a.m. All right, good. Well, we are joined once again by retired Marine Colonel Ed Botolato. He's currently the uh, Executive Vice President of Homeland Security for the Shaw Group as well. Thanks for being with us again. Uh, one last question I want to ask you about today. It looks like the Security Council is going to be taking up the Iraq resolution, uh, clearing the way, I guess, for uh, some of the countries that wanted to contribute their troops uh, under the umbrella of United Nations OK. Uh, they will be able to do so. How will that change the uh, picture on the ground militarily in Iraq, in your opinion? Yeah, we're going to have the latest for you on that. ...through the Gaza Strip was attacked this morning, and there are dead reported. Also, this is the very first attack in the last three years during the Israeli-Palestinian conflict where Americans have been the target. And our Jennifer Griffin is live now at the Israel... ...reporting to Jennifer Griffin saying they were not involved in this. So. That's right. Of course, uh, this explosion and this attack on Americans is going to get the eye of the President of the United States. That, uh, there's a fight uh, to the death, seemingly, between the Palestinians and the Israelis. It seems like every couple of days there's some kind of an explosion. Today, that all changed. They attacked an American convoy. Somebody that's, did. That's right. It was a deadly blast taking place in the Gaza Strip where three Americans were killed. Jennifer Griffin is at the Is Israel... the Gaza. Three Americans dead this morning in Israel. In the meantime, let's switch gears to domestic news. In this regard, Scott Peterson, who is accused of murdering his wife, Lacey. You know, his uh, defense team, Karen, has been then took to the airwaves with his message on the U.S. mission in Iraq, but he bypassed Boy was traveling, I guess, to the education ministry there in mm -hmm. Gaza. Um, a group of uh, four American diplomats. Uh, Jennifer Griffin's on the ground in the region, and she's continuing to bring us updated information as soon as she finds out more about that tragedy this morning. First attack on Americans in Israel in three years. We'll keep you updated. In the meantime, seven minutes before the top of the hour, President Bush hit the airwaves this week to get his message out on Iraq, but he picked who he talked to very carefully. It was not the big three. That's right. He uh, chose instead to talk to some regional news outlets. Brent Bozell, president of the Media Research.